Hey y'all, it's Steffi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a mini review of the Dagny Dover Landon Carry All in the size medium. And the color that I have is in Dune. As you can see, it is quite full right now. My current work slash gym bag. A little backstory, some of y'all may know, I no longer work in public accounting, I work in industry. So I have one office that I go to every single day. I have my own desk. There's a gym on site, so I try to go to the gym at least three times a week, if not more. I don't need to tote around a ton of work things anymore like I did in my previous work bag videos, which I will link in the cards. That's why I went with the Landon Carry All by Dagny Dover. I was thinking about getting their tote bag and a backpack, but I decided why have two bags when I can just have one? And I only really need one during the week, so that's why I ended up getting this Land and Carry All. I got it during the Black Friday sale, and they actually are having a sale on this particular color and style right now. It's their end of season sale, so if you love this color like I do, you definitely wanna snag it now because they won't make it again after this season, unless it's like maybe they might bring it back next fall, but it's not a color that you can get all the time. So as you can see, it is the Dune color. It kind of changes color depending on the lighting. Right now, it looks kind of on the brown side, but there's definitely a plum mauve tone to it. I love that there are pockets and organization. I have really nothing bad to say about it. I love the fabric, it is neoprene, so I've actually walked around with it in the rain before and it dries very quickly and it doesn't leave any rain spots. And that's also another thing I love about this particular line by Dagny Dover. It's very forgiving and that's something that I was very interested in as well. On a daily basis, I'm not super careful with my bag, I kind of just like throw it around, as you can see if you watch my vlogs. So this is the medium size, like I said. I'm going to show you how it looks on my frame. For reference, I am 5'1". I typically wear a four or six. One way to carry it is by the two straps and it actually has this closure. So you just snap it together, it has a Dagny Dover logo on there. Snap it and it keeps the straps together. This is what it looks like on my frame when I carry it with the straps and this is when it's completely full. And then it does come with an adjustable strap. And so this is what it looks like when I'm wearing it on a strap, when it's completely full. You're able to make it smaller or larger. So as you can see here, it is at its largest width. And that's because you can unclasp these sides here. They have a little snap on both ends. When they can actually reach when it's not super full, you can snap it together. So this is what it looks like on my shoulder when you have it at its compact size. And then here it is with the adjustable strap and you can wear it crossbody if you feel like it. I love the options that come along with this bag and that is why I personally highly recommend it for a work slash gym bag. And I will show y'all exactly what all I keep in my bag, okay? It has double zippers. Here we go, as we open it up, there is this side pocket here that has a zipper and it's right below the Dagny Dover logo. And in that zipper, I just keep a bunch of receipts. I like to keep them obviously for tax purposes. I like to keep them in one spot so that they don't get all over the place and get all jumbled up and messy and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna take out everything that's like in the middle spot so it'll be easier for you. And you can see everything that I squish in here. So at the very top of it, I have my vlog camera and tripod. This is the Monofront, Mon no, hold on. Monfrotto tripod. I like it because you just press a button and you can swivel it around. So a lot of the times this is how I like to hold it when I'm vlogging. And this is the Canon G7X Mark I. That's my vlog camera. I've had it for over a year now. I love this camera. It's very compact. I bring it whenever we're traveling. It's wonderful. They have a Mark II now that's out and I wanted to upgrade, but then I was like, there's no reason to upgrade, girl. So anyways, save my money. Then right next to 
on the side is my Hunter toiletry bag. This came separate from the Land and Carry All. I wanted to buy it because I will be making trips abroad, so I just wanted a toiletry bag. But for now, I use it for my toiletries for the gym. And it's the same concept as you can see. It's the dune color. It comes with little snaps on the side as well, so you can open it. So you can make it like that, or you can make it compact like the Land and Carry All, like that. I usually have it compact because I don't really need it to be open, but yeah. Same concept has two zippers as well. And inside my toiletry bag, it actually came with this little pouch. And inside there, I have Christmas candy. Is it just me or is candy more tasty when it's in shapes? I'm telling y'all, if you haven't, try to find these, the Snickers trees. For some reason, they taste so much better than regular Snickers. Like, I don't know if the caramel's fresher or whatnot, but these are delicious. And you know, you're not the same when you're hangry. I'm probably not gonna keep for very long because I like them and I'm gonna eat them. And I'm not a big, like, candy person, but those are damn good. So the other pouch that comes with the Hunter toiletry bag. In here, I just have a ridiculous amount of lip products like more lip products than I can even tell you why. I don't know why I have so many in here. A bunch of lip pencils by MAC, a couple of MAC lipsticks, a Bobbi Brown Art Stick Liquid Lip, which is what I was wearing today, but it's kind of worn off. A Dose of Color Lip Gloss. This is the Desi and Katie collection. And then I have two of my pens in here. This one here is a Swarovski pen and Mike got that for me for Valentine's Day, I believe. Very cute, it's rose gold, so cute. And then this is my purple Paper Mate Ink Joy pen that I use in my planner. Y'all know I don't really do like stickers and whatnot, so I use ink to differentiate things. So purple means personal life stuff, black ink is work-related things. Okay, so that goes in there. This is an H&M pencil case that you can see is rose gold, and what I keep in here are tampons a little bit more incognito when you need them, you know? I have some deodorant. This is Wolf Thorn by Old Spice. I really like the smell. It smells very fruity and yummy. This was an extra for Mike, but he doesn't like it because it's fruity and yummy, not super masculine sound smelling for him. So I took it as an extra. Whenever yo girl be stinking, I will use that when I'm at the gym. I have a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is my favorite kind of lotion. Has no scent to it. Doesn't interfere with any of the perfumes I wear. And I also have a little spoolie because I do have lash extensions now and it's, I just like to separate them every now and then if they're feeling like they're clumping. That's pretty much it, hair ties and whatnot. So all of that goes back in this toiletry bag. Next that's on top is my keys and a little pouch that came with the Land and Carry All. It also comes with this like elastic key leash, which I love because now I'm not like digging around in my purse trying to find my keys and my wallet very easily. So in here I have my card case from Kate Spade. I have some gum. It's really just my, the, the essential things that I need that I keep in this little pouch. I have hand sanitizer because I am a germaphobe. And I have my chap, sorry, lip balm. It's Burt's Bees Pomegranate. Oh, pardon me. And then I also have the key to my P.O. box in here. I got a P.O. box, by the way, which I will list in the description box because I don't know why. Because I got it. And if you want to be pen pals, send, send me a letter. And we can be pen pals. So then, in the middle part, the rest of it, there are my gym clothes and I will transport them in there when I go to the gym. Once they're all sweaty and gross, I just take them out of my bag and leave them in my car. That way I'm not walking back to work with stinky gym clothes. Then the Land and Carry All actually came with this really cute little shoe bag, which I love because it's kind of gross to have your shoes just like sitting in your bag. And in here I have my gym shoes for the day, depending on what I'm doing, if it's arms or whatever, I'll have other shoes, but Whenever I do a leg day, I like to wear my Converse, and these ones are the blush color. It's because they're flat, apparently that helps with the glute and leg engagement. So I listened to Nikki Blackader and I wore them. <laughs> and so yeah, anyways, I have that in there. I love that it comes with a little shoe bag. I, one of my favorite things. 
Okay, so that is everything that is in the middle pouch. Then in the left side compartment, there is this Velcro pockety type thing. And in there, I carry my Beats by Dre. I need them so that I can, you know, be antisocial at the gym and just jam out to my music. In the front pocket, I have my Under Armour water bottle. I will usually put a scoop of my BCAAs in the water bottle so that I don't have to carry it around with me. I'll usually just keep my BCAAs in my car and then I'll just drop them in there and then when I get to the gym, I put some water in it, shake it all up and that's what I drink while I'm working out. Well, actually this was the last thing in the main compartment. So this is my planner from Cloth and Paper. It is their A5 planner and I know it's boring, I'm sorry baby. And it is in the nude color. I waited so, so long for them to launch this and I love it. I actually haven't started using it yet. I'm gonna use it in January. So if y'all would like me to do a full on review and show you what all I do with my planner, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And you open it up. I got the nude dividers and then the inserts I got from Sessa V and I got it in the marble print. It makes me happy. One of the reasons why I really wanted this bag is because it comes with a laptop sleeve pocket that does have a Velcro strap on it so it holds your laptop in real nice and secure. Here is the laptop that I have for work. It is by Dell. I think it's like 13 inches something or other. But yeah, it fits into the laptop just perfectly. One thing I did notice though is I can close the bag with the laptop in the sleeve easily and make it its compact size, like snap it on the side. However, when I'm trying to take the laptop out of the sleeve, I have to undo the snaps. Otherwise, it's like a pain in the butt to get out. And I don't want to ruin my bag by just like forcing it and ripping stuff. So um, that is the one thing that I have noticed about it, but it's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me whatsoever. So that is everything that is inside the bag. The very last feature that I wanted to share with y'all is right here on the inside. So this part is what's facing your body. It has this nifty little pocket for your phone. And I have a Samsung Note 8 and it fits in that pocket real easy. It slips in there, you can't even see it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this what's in my work slash gym bag and mini review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching. If it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to be a part of our subby family because we would love to have you and I will see y'all in my next video. I can't. Ugh. Lifting to a bag, not backpack. Yes, I am wearing sweatpants, and y'all are lucky that I'm wearing a bra right now. <laughs> if I'm at home, the girls hang loose. Damn good. I really want to show you guys that. Oh, it's right there. Yes. Stay there, baby. I got off my lazy butt and went and got it. It's by Cloth and Paper. Am I holding it upside down? I am. God, such a mess. <laughs>